The Chevrolet Corvette Stingray Coupe is one of the stars of this year's Detroit Auto Show, and in Geneva, its topless sister is hitting the headlines. Weeks ahead of its unveil, we were granted exclusive access to the Stingray Convertible in Michigan, where we caught up with design director Tom Peters. My name is Tom Peters, um, Director of Design for Exterior on uh, Performance Vehicles and Full Size Truck. Cars like the Corvette, and particularly the new Stingray, it's all about the experience. And to me, what's special about cars like, like the Corvette it, are that it affects all the senses. You know, you want to have that open air motoring, you want to feel one with the road and all those kinds of things. But just having that exhilaration of open air motoring it has always been an attraction. Um, it's, just, it's just a delightful experience that's unique to the automobile, I believe. What we find really interesting about this car is that compared to the coupe, there are no changes to the chassis whatsoever. Normally on a convertible you expect structural reinforcements which add mass, but Chevy's engineers are adamant that they've hit their targets without it. The mechanicals of the roof do add a bit of mass, but they're stressing that the power to weight ratio is near identical to that of the coupe. I honestly have to say I don't think we've lost anything going from the coupe to the convertible. I believe they're two distinct animals, if you will, in their own right. I think they enhance each other. As I mentioned, we work them concurrently, although they're staggered in their release. They comprehend each other. When the coupe was unveiled, it was criticized for being a bit too fussy, a bit too busy, but the convertible is a much cleaner, more elegant design. Those ungainly air intakes on the rear quarter panels, for example, have been removed. We prefer the look of the convertible and we think others will too. Could this be why GM was in such a hurry to show it? Over the course of Corvette's history, you've had some fantastic shapes. I felt there was an opportunity to push that even farther and I asked my team to really explore as many different ways to express that in a beautiful way that comes across as a powerful new Corvette. Chevy's paid special attention to slimming down the roof both literally and visually. It's a three-ply roof with a special mattress layer and the structural hoops are near invisible. When the roof's up it looks almost flat and this helps to visually lower the car. The rake of the windshield is actually the same for both the coupe and the convertible, but design director Peters reckons that the convertible looks lower, and it's hard to disagree. This is a very lean looking car that's actually lower than the latest 911 convertible from Porsche. We love some of the detailing on this car, such as the flying buttresses behind the seats. The body colour waterfall section inside is also a classic Corvette design cue. Peters and his team have kept one eye on the past, whilst looking to the future. I think it's extremely important to look at a heritage of a vehicle and extract those aspects out of it that make it unique, uniquely a Corvette, but also those timeless elements that people really respond to. While some other sports car manufacturers such as Ferrari and McLaren are using electrically folding hardtops, Chevy's designers never seriously consider this option. Peters reckons a fabric roof makes much more of a statement. To me, the new Corvette Stingray is the most elegant solution that embodies the best performance, the best technology, and all put together in a wonderfully sculpted, beautiful Corvette package. The Stingray Convertible will undoubtedly be one of the stars of Geneva 2013. For all our show coverage, the news, reviews and reveals, subscribe to Edmunds Video on YouTube.